Hey Planner friends, it's Joe, back with another video. I am doing a flip through of May 2021. Um, this is birthday month, I'm really excited about this month, and I'm, as usual, getting a very late start on everything, but um, I wanted to share it with you as quickly as possible, <clears throat> and here it is. This month I am using this absolutely gorgeous and divine purple medium XL Campania, um, any polka purple. As you all know, for almost two years now, I've been using medium XL with 30 millimeter rings and Franklin Covey compact inserts. The other day in the live with, um, just as a side note, um, the other day in the live program with um, Gilio, somebody very wrongly, very incorrectly said, you could not use medium XL and Franklin Covey compact inserts together with 30 millimeter rings. That is a lie, that is false. I am here to tell you I've been doing this for years, literal years, and you can use it all day long. Now, I will tell you that if you don't like your uh, side tabs to kind of stick out of just a ever so slightly, then that may be an issue for you. You might actually want to use 25 millimeter rings, but you can use them th for 30 millimeter all day long. Um, I don't know why somebody would have said that. You can. Um, so hopefully that will put that issue to sleep. Now let's get into the flip through. Okay, this month, like I said, is May. It is birthday month. And so for the month of May, I really wanted to do um, a celestial theme, um, kind of a Zodiac theme, Taurus, all of those good things that I haven't done before. I couldn't believe it. I haven't done um, this kind of theme before uh, before now. So here it is. Um, let me see here. Over here we have my pocket configuration that I normally have with my sticky notes. And then I have just a journaling card here from Sequins and Paper, another one from Cloth and Paper. Um, this is from... DVNI plans. I really love it. It's so cute. Um, two little moons. Um, so I have that tucked right in here. And then I have this moon here from Wild Moon Paper Co. I do have um, <clears throat> my traditional first page over here, which is kind of my mood board. Covering my mood board this month, I did put this freebie. It's from Maria Plans. Um, and I just loved it. it went perfectly with I hope you guys can see it I think you can um, but anyway it went perfectly with this theme so I put it in there here is the mood board for May sequins and paper cloth and paper and here is where we get into even more exciting uh, news as most of you have seen if you follow me on Instagram I have done um, a collab with Hey Planner Girl. This is just um, amazing, this collab that I have with her. I kind of doodled a little bit of a design of what I wanted. Um, I had initially reached out to her just to kind of see if she'd done an, um, you know, any kind of customs. And she was like, hey, what do you have in mind? I told her and she's like, why don't we just make it general and let's do a collab. And I was like, oh my God, I would be very honored. Um, she was so easy to work with and she just loved my idea enough. I think that she thought that everyone would love it. And um, I think that it's been a very positive response. But so I doodled on paper, some stars and the sun and moon and kind of what I thought that it should look like. She took that and just made it spectacular, over the top spectacular. It's just, it's fantastic. And of course, you know, me being extra like I am, <laughs> I couldn't just leave it black and uh, white. I had to leave it, um, I had to gold foil it. Um, and I really liked the way it turned out actually. The other thing about this file is it will be coming um, May, uh, the end of May, 2021. Hopefully in a couple of weeks, she's going to release um, this collab in her shop. Um, but the great news is that it's going to come with a contents page and it will also come with your um, cover pages for your sections. And I don't know why the United States government has decided they need to do fighter pilot crap today, but they have. So anyway, um, this whole file will come with 
your six cover um, pages for your sections and the contents page. When you fill this in for your contents right here on the very first page, it then fills in all of the other information automatically. It's brilliant. Yarni is amazing. She thinks of everything and, and I just love it. Um, so yeah, this is going to be released, like I said, at the end of May. I hope you guys love it and and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I would love to see all of you using it. Tag me if you can. I would love to see how you use it in your planners. This is a um, dashboard that I printed from uh, Lucy Plans Life, along with this beautiful moon charm here. This is from Lucy Plans Life. Here is a freebie. Um, let me see if I can put this under so that you guys can see it. I love it. It's like the moon phases. Um, this is from Railment. Uh, it's a freebie. Um, R-A-E-L-E-M-E-N-T. I will try to leave it linked below um, the Instagram page. She's just a fantastic um, like creator as well. And I just love the way that this looked. This is also from a freebie from Railment as well. Here we have, um, this is a dashboard from Tool and Twine. Um, Tool and Twine uh, does not have Franklin Covey compact size um, anything, but what I did is I, uh, like I sometimes will do, I bought the uh, mini Happy Planner version and I cut it down to Franklin Covey size. I have said it before, I wanna say it again for those who may be new to my channel. Franklin Covey Compact is is gaining in popularity, but it is not very popular, and a lot of the shops do not carry deco in their shops for that specific size. I have become well adapted to ordering different sizes and then cutting them down, or if they're a printable shop, I can resize the printables to, a, to Franklin Covey. Um, in this instance, it was a printed shop, so she sent a physical item. I had to order uh, mini HP. The reason I do that um, is because the proportions for mini Happy Planner are tall and, and they're more slender than a personal light. Most people, and, and you could probably do this too with personal wide, it's just your preference, um, but personal wide is wider, and I find that you have to cut off more of the graphic when you do personal wide than you do if you order the um, mini happy planner. It just worked better for me. Um, I do this with cloth and paper. I've done this with um, a few other shops. Uh, uh, you're gonna see this coming in July. I've got some things from Salty22. I always order a mini happy planner and cut it down to Franklin Covey. It's a lot easier to keep most of the graphic when you're cutting it down that way. This is just um, a yearly overview from Cloth and Paper. It came in the vertical weeklies. Here is a two pocket dashboard from Catspresso Co. I do have a code for Catspresso Co. Um, it'll be listed down below. It is Joe 10 for 10% off your order. We have Sparkly Paper Co. Um, this is the Lux um, Acetate in Gold. This is a dashboard that I made using Canva and um, finding Pinterest images. And we come into my first section. The first section is my inbox section. And like I said, um, I don't think, um, let me just put this behind here. What I've done this month is I have created my own tabs and I've layered my section covers over the tabs. Uh, I just like the way that that looked. Um, and like I said, whenever I thought of this uh, setup for this month back in March, um, at the end of April, I had talked to Yarni because she's the very first person that I thought of. When I, I, there's a few shops that I always love to have their stuff in here in my planners each month. Um, Queen City Design is one. Um, Yarni with Hey Planner Girl is one. I, you know, there's just certain shops that I really love to have, like Cat Espresso Co. And so I'll reach out to them if they don't have something I like to see if they're willing to make it, uh, you know, 
And it just so happened that um, Yarny was all about a collab and I was so excited to do it with her. But this is um, section one. You can fill this in the way you want to. Like I said, if you fill this in up here at the beginning for your contents page, all of this is filled out for you. Even the subsections are filled out automatically for you in the file and then you can just print. The detailing here is just amazing. The way she took it and just ran with it, I love it. But I liked the way that it layered. I used this paper that I found online um, and I layered it over that and I think it just looks, this is exactly the way I thought it would look. Um, actually it's better because Yarny made it so amazing, but I just love the way it looks. Catspresso Co. Um, acetate. This is a dashboard I made in Canva. This is from Sessa V, uh, her moon sticky notes. This is from Queen City Design, cloth and paper, inbox, tool and twine, um, dashboard, another dashboard I made. And then this is my inbox for May. And I think I've already done some of that actually, so <laughs> I can, Clear out that inbox. I first forgot to do that. This inbox is, by the way, sorry, I'm skipping over that. I don't feel very good today, but I wanted to get this done because I know um, I I was excited about the this flip through, so I know other people are too. Um, but this is from Dua Inspiring Designs. I do have a code for her shop through the end of June, I believe it will work, and it's Joe fifteen for fifteen percent off. This one is from Simple and Trendy Co. I do not have a code for her shop. Not anyone doesn't, um, but I think if you order three or more inserts, you get 15% off anyway. And that's super easy to do in her shop. Here we have um, the second section, which I wanna make sure you guys see the graphics. I love it. Once again, this was filled in from the contents page. The second section is just my lists um, that I like to keep. This My lists are more permanent kind of lists. They're not lists of like to-dos or stuff like that for me. They're more um, permanent lists like the coffee that I like. Or right here we have um, my wish list for Jillio, my wish list for VDS, those kind of things. My wish list for stuff I would love to have one day. Oh, my honeydew list. <laughs> okay, and then um, these are also from Dua Inspiring Designs, by the way. Here's the book list. This is from uh, Paper and Ink Printables. And I have resized some A5 inserts down to 77% from Squizzleberry for the TV series to watch and movies to watch. By the way, you guys, those who wish me dead, um, I think it's on HBO and in theaters at the same time. It's the new Angelina Jolie movie. It's so good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I loved it. Here is my third section, which is my personal section. I'll let you see the graphics here. I have taken a lot of my health stuff out of here because I just got paranoid that I was keeping my personal health information in here. And truthfully, um, this goes with me sometimes, some places, and I just don't want people looking at it. So I took it out. Uh, this is from Queen City Design. And this is another dashboard I made. And so I'm putting my tracking stuff in here right now. Um, but there's some other things I'm thinking about putting in here. To be honest, next month, um, I think there could be a huge overhaul of my entire planner sections and everything like that. I think there's going to be a huge overhaul. More to come on that, but I think we're looking at a need for a different different functionality here. This is my meal plan. This is from Dua Inspiring Design. Um, I need to meal plan for next week. It's really a cool um, concept. I have used it this way. This does actually come with a fold-out, um, and I think, 
I have discarded it, um, but it, it did come with a very cool fold out where you could fold it down and you could actually have room for your menu um, or like a um, grocery list on the side. But I kind of just liked it looking like this. It's less bulk in my planner. Here is the fourth section, which is my schedule section. I wanna let you look at the graphics there. Even the detailing of the the font she used is just, it's amazing. And then there's quotes here. Okay, schedule section. Again, Cat Espresso Co. Another dashboard I made. By the way, I sure hope, you know, I just found stuff that I liked. I sure hope there's not some hidden meaning in some of this stuff. <laughs> I didn't even think about that when I was putting it, uh, putting all this stuff together could cause a chaos or something. And um, this is from Lucy Plans Life. It's just a vellum I printed. Here is a Squizzleberry yearly overview. And then this is from Grand T Plans. I just printed it on regular 32 pound paper and I love the way it layered. Um, I'm a Taurus. May is my birthday, May 6th specifically. And um, I just love that. These top tabs are from Cloth and Paper. This is from EO Edits. Um, it's an A5 sized down to 77%. Mm, this is from the collab um, with Hey Planner Girl. Let me see if I can pull this out. I want to show you guys where I got that. <clears throat> So here is the collab itself on, I'm sorry you guys, here it is on paper. <clears throat> so when you get it, you're going to get, this is what it looks like on paper, and then you have this side. These I don't really use um, for myself, but they're very beautiful and graphic, and I wanted to use it because I thought it was gorgeous. So that's what I did, and I foiled it. Here's this part of it. That's section two, section three, section four, section five, section six. So that's the collab um, on paper, and I'm using it. You can see I'm foiling it and just using bits and pieces where I like it. Tool and twine, I'm not sure who this is, but it's a very pretty image. Here's Dua Inspiring Designs. Um, I had just been using this kind of a checking off the months because um, I don't really know what else to use it for. <laughs> um, and then I have another Dua Inspiring Design. Uh, this is a fold-out, a yearly fold-out, that I use to mark mine and my husband's pay dates. This is a Dua Inspiring Design fold-out. Uh, she calls it a yearly goals, but I don't... Um, I think I've said this before in some of my flip-throughs. I don't particularly love having or doing goals. I, I'm just not a goal kind of person. Um, it puts... It might, maybe my anxiety disorder or what, but um, it just makes me feel anxious if I'm not going to get it done or whatever. So I do have things I want to accomplish. That doesn't mean to say I just, I don't think I just call them goals and I don't particularly just put them down on paper. Um, it's more kind of a journaling process for me and just an ideas and then I go with it. Um, I don't know how to explain it. I just don't have goals like other people do. So what I do is I use these for important things for that month. This is beautiful. I love the way that this works out because then like I can do, um, I have quite a few licensures, professional licensures. I'm a nurse and an attorney. And so I put all of my uh, continuing legal, uh, continuing education and license renewal information here. This is a vellum that I printed. This is a freebie, and this one is from GC Plans on Instagram. 
her freebie section is labeled differently and I forget the name of it, but her Instagram name is now GC Plants. Tool and Twine. I love that image, it's pretty. This is um, just another yearly overview. GC Plants. Tool and Twine. Here's my routine section. Then we have more GC plans. Dua Inspiring Designs. This is a um, monthly overview, but I use it as a pre-plan. So I put all my appointments here, and then when it comes time for the month, I'll transfer this to the month and from the month to the weekly, and from the weekly to the daily. <laughs> That's kind of how I do everything. This is from Dua Inspiring Designs too. I love the way these layer, by the way, um, you'll see that I have another one um, and they just layer so great over just about anything. This is from GC Plans. This is from Tool and Twine. Maria Plans. And then these are my, um, I have my tab here from for the month of May. This is um, from SM Plans. And this is from Laylee Plans. Um, I forget the shop name now, but it's L-A-L-I dot plans um, on Instagram. And I just love, love, love her work. She also got this one for me. I think this was, I ordered this one, but she sent this one for my birthday. Was that not just the sweetest thing? And I'm gonna use this in my B6 Wonderland. That's where I do my dailies. And I kept this as my monthly marker. Then I go into my weeklies. This is the other dashboard from Dua Inspiring Design. Layers so wonderfully over just about anything. Tool and Twine. This is from Richly Noted. Can you guys believe, by the way, we are over halfway done with chapter five of this year? And then here's the weeklies that I'm using this month. Um, this is from Paper Test Designs. I love this weekly. I think I would love it better if I had the week and then kind of an overview page here, but um, I, I, I like the way it's working out. And so I'm gonna keep it, but um, I just really love it. I love Paper Test Designs, um, her inserts. They're just fantastic. So it's just, it's a blank, by the way, and you can just put your weeks in there. And then we have my Today Marker from um, Cloth and Paper. And I just have Cloth and Paper appointment stickers, sticky notes. Urgent sticky notes. Here again is the section five. I have gold foiled here. I'll take, let you take a look here. This is a dashboard I made. This is my finances, so I'm not gonna let you see all of that, but um, here is section six. A dashboard I made and then my notes section Just some note paper and sticky notes I use from cloth and paper and then this is notes um, paper that I printed from my friend Melanie at ML plans and she made this for us and I have just made notes for future setups for the rest of the year, by the way. Um, and I'm not letting you see, because I don't want, I want you to be as surprised as I'm gonna be. <laughs> so, um, but I do have, listen, this is my fun thing. This is me, this is my um, outlet that I use to help decrease my anxiety. So if you think it's silly that I have everything planned out for the rest of the year, 
I can understand, um, but this is my thing, and I love doing that. Um, so, yeah, I, I absolutely do have the rest of the year planned out and what planners I'm going to be using. Back here, um, I forget where this pouch is from. I'm going to have to lift it down below. But I just have stickers from Catspresso Co. Um, and um, the planner spot printables here and Cat Espresso Co. Um, other stickers here. I love it. This is from, <clears throat> oh gosh, I'm moving everything around here. This is also from uh, DVNI Plans, that's right. Has the tourist symbol and I love that. Okay, well that was the flip through. Um, I hope you guys are still with me and that you loved it as much as I do. I really am excited about this, um, this setup. <laughs> I just, um, it's unfortunate that I just don't feel very well, um, right now, but I did want to go ahead and do it so that, um, everyone can enjoy it as well. If you have any questions, be sure and leave them down below as always. And I look forward to seeing you next month. All right. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.